Hi, this is Dr. Brandon Champ from Algoma University. I'm going to give a quick demonstration on how to do a data transformation in Chiplot, the uh, freeware program for graphing and statistics. And I'm also going to demonstrate how to use this transformed data in a linear regression, so to do um, a linear regression statistical test. So what I have here are two columns of data from a low, uh, low disturbance uh, plant community. Uh, the first column illustrates the species richness, or number of species per plot. So in this plot there's 16. And the amount of biomass above ground, dried biomass produced, right, uh, which is a measure of carbon productivity. Uh, in this case, this plot has 170 grams. All right, so um, to do a regression on this, I, I'm actually interested in whether uh, plot richness is a, a significant predictor of biomass. So biomass is the dependent or y variable in this analysis. And use it in a regression analysis, uh, the y variable must be normally distributed or approximately normally distributed. I happen to know that that's not the case for these data. Uh, and I also happen to know that transforming them can address this problem. Now, a number of transformations um, can be done for these data. So I'm going to select the data and hide, go to Data up here, Transform. And then a number of different transformations uh, can be applied, um, including the Box-Cox transformation, which gives you a best, uh, pa the best power transformation. So what it does is it raises um, your data to the a, a given power. So it could raise it to the two or it could give, raise it to a fraction which is a root of some kind. Um, that gives you the best results towards um, uh, a normal distribution. I happen to know in this case though that the, the log base 10 uh, transformation gives a, a, a relatively good uh, approximation of the normal distribution. So I'm going to just go with that. I simply uh, select OK. And I can see that the, the new data pops up like this, so biomass. Okay. Now I can take these data and move them right next door. And suddenly I've got my transformation done. Now to carry out um, my, uh, my regression analysis, I'm going to select these two columns the two that I'm interested in. So I select the first one just by highlighting and dragging down. Then I hold down the control button, which allows me to select a different column right, at the same time. Now I can go up to statistics and I can go down to parametric, oh, regression analysis, excuse me, simple regression. All right, I'm going to have it go to the current spreadsheet uh, and I'm actually going to change that so it goes to E1. Okay, uh, the first row is not uh, variable labels, the data are in columns. Um, the Y range is listed from, uh, the Y range is actually incorrect. Uh, no, the Y range is, is correct, so the Y range is biomass, uh, log biomass as we want it, and the X range is richness, that's what we wanted there, so we're interested in that. So I simply select OK, and here comes my uh, information. You get all kinds of information about the mean of Y and the mean of X. Um, standard error of the mean pops up. You get a lot of interesting data like that, and you get your ANOVA for the regression down below. And what you can see, if you take a look over here, is the p-value, or type 1 error rate. So if the statistical uh, regression that we're doing here is to address the null, null hypothesis that um, richness is not a significant predictor of log biomass. And another way of thinking about this is in a linear uh, regression relationship or a linear relationship, um, that means there's no significant slope or a slope no different than zero. Uh, so this probability actually tells you um, how likely it is that uh, you can reject that null hypothesis of a slope of zero and uh, not do so incorrectly. So with about 95 uh, plus a little bit percent of, of confidence, we can reject that null hypothesis and assume that there is some sort of non-zero slope relationship between these and uh, a significant relationship of some kind. And that's how you do a linear regression and transformation uh, using Chiplot.